guys, I'm working out with you. Okay, um, I've just done a really late shift, so I got home about 10 o'clock. Um, it's almost like half past 12, midnight. I've just gone midnight. And, um, and I'm still not tired, so I'm going to do a beer review, I think. Um, as always, I'm prepared. Anyway, um, this beer review is going to be dedicated to um, a new beer reviewer. He's, I think he's done about 11 reviews so far. He's a great little reviewer. I'll give a link to his channel. It's Stravale. Uh, he's based in Scotland. And, um, and he doesn't have a Scottish accent, so I'm assuming he's not a native. Anyway, yeah, he's a good little reviewer. He does it in the style of um, Haugli or Harlock, i.e. a bird's eye sort of view, you know, just like from the first person view. Uh, and it, yeah, I just think I just thought I'd find his channel really good, um, and I think he should get a few more hits. And so, guys who are watching this, give the give the link uh, a little click and have a, and have a watch of his channel, because um, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Getting all the uh, you know building up the reviews, building up the um, uh, the the people who do reviews, supporting them, and. Um, you know, and just getting more knowledge out there of what beers are actually available. Um, there's another guy who um, subscribes to my channel. He's called Eternity in Valhalla, and um, I've been trying for ages and ages to get him to do beer reviews. And uh, I, I think he's just on the cusp of actually doing it, but he, I think he will eventually. Anyway, this is dedicated to Stravel because he just he just uh, done a festive beer review, and this is going to be my festive beer review. It's from the Hogley's Brewery, and it's. Frosty Ferret, Albino Rhino, I know you'll like that label, because <laughs> you tend to like the uh, the quirky labels. Now then, I haven't had a, a decent festive beer yet this year, except for the old Shrimper, which was sent to me by Barry. Sorry mate, I actually forgot that last time. That was a winter beer and it was, oh, it was so nice. Anyway, using my new glasses, reading glasses, and let's have a look at this one. It says Frosty Ferret is a rich and is rich and spicy with the scents and tastes of Xmas. Frosty Ferret will add sparkle to the coldest and darkest winter days. It's 4.3% in volume and it's from the Hogley's Brewery based in North Hants. Um, have they got a website? No, it doesn't say. It does say camera says. This is real ale. So, okay. Let's give it a crack. Yeah, as I was saying before, the um, the old shrimper winter ale. Oh, that was lovely. Check that review if you haven't seen it already. If you're after a really nice Christmassy winter beer, I'd definitely recommend that. Um, there you go, nice. Sort of dark goldenish colour, not too much of a head. Uh, 4.3%, it looks like it's got a little bit of legs on that, you can see the alcohol. Um, that's quite strange. Right, let's get a nose on it. Um getting a little bit of bitterness, also like a, a rubbery sort of smell. It's also like a wet, wet leaf. Um, I've mentioned this before in a review, when you get this, the wet smell of, of dried leaves, you get that sort of almost vegetably, sort of vegetation-y, oh god I'm so crap at words. Um, Almost like a mould sort of vegetable smell. Um, yeah, I'm not really getting much on the smell. It's not very, it doesn't smell that great, but the nose has lied to me before. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, I don't know if I like that. It's 
It's got a really horrible, ashy sort of taste. Like cigarette ash. I used to smoke, I stopped in 2004. But, <sighs> oh for fuck's sake, what is going on with this? Look, festive beer. Where's the spices? Where's all this rich and spicy with the scents and tastes of Xmas? It smells like a burnt Christmas tree. Is that supposed to be festive? I don't fucking know. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, it's fucking horrible. Ugh. It's got a horrible cigarette ash bitterness, and that's it. There's nothing else to it. There's nothing. There's no redeeming quality to it. Um, it's not out of date. October 2012. And that's the honest truth. You know I don't lie to you. 2 out of 10. No, fuck it. That's getting a 1 out of 10. That's really pissed me off. Festive ale. And it tastes like someone's just dumped a, an ashtray into a glass of pretty mediocre bitter. Bollocks. Fuck it, I'm going to do my barley wine. I wasn't going to do it tonight. Um, I was going to save it for tomorrow. But that's really pissed me off. I really want a beer that I can drink. And that's not it. Cheers.